Out of all of the main three trading companies, Merchant Alliance can be the most daunting to max out. No one, and I mean no one, wants to go around the map picking up chickens. Who, by the way, literally die in one hit. One hit. Do you know how many times I've killed chickens because I'm tapped out? However, it is still part of your journey to Pirate Legend, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get there in as little as time and effort as possible. Just strap in, and let's get into it. Before we get into the video, I'm currently live over on Twitch, so if you like the video, make sure to not only subscribe and leave a like, but also come into the stream and say hi. And if you need any more help and get to max rank for any of the other trading companies, you'll find more guides on my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get yourself to Merchant Alliance level 75 within a super short period of time, and I will show you how this all works later on in the video. For this strategy, you can do it with any amount of people, including solo. First things first, you're going to want to start hopping servers. You're looking to spawn somewhere in the shores of plenty, so either Sanctuary or Golden Sands Outpost. While you're hopping for servers, you can actually make use of the spawns which aren't the outpost you're looking for. For instance, if you spawn at Plunder Outpost, go to the Merchant and pick up a Lost Shipment Voyage. Make sure you get everyone in your crew to do this so you can stack up multiple voyages at the same time and cycle through voyages properly. More on that later. Once you've found your server, start stocking up your boat with some supplies just in case you come across any other players while doing the strategy. After that, find and raise the merchant emissary found on the docks. Now is where the fun begins. Head over to your voyage table and start cycling through voyages. What you are looking for is a voyage where you stay in the shores of plenty and you aren't traveling ridiculous amount on the seas. This becomes easier to look for if you and your crew have been picking up voyages from servers you don't want to be on. It is also easier with multiple people, but shouldn't be much of an issue solo. The reason you want to stay in the shores is because the distance between each island is considerably reduced compared to anywhere else on the map, so this will reduce your sail time by a large amount. Once you've found a decent voyage, plot out the path on the map and raise the anchor and face the direction you need to travel in. What you're going to want to do here is look out for birds in the sky as you are sailing along the path you have plotted out. These aren't just any birds though, you're going to be looking for birds that have a little bit more clarity and are a bit bigger than usual barrel or shipwreck birds. Once you find some birds, sail over to them and harp in what you can. Here is where things are going to get slightly different from doing these voyages normally. Start by looking out for any blue flashing. This could be one of two things, either a merchant bottle or a merchant key. We want the key. If you do not see the key and it's just a merchant bottle or barrel, ignore these as these add time to your sailing and will prevent you from doing the voyage quickly. Grab any crates in the water and move on. If you have the key, then great, keep sailing to any birds in the sky and look for your shipwreck. And if you do not have the key, do not worry, keep doing the same thing as I just mentioned and sail to any birds you might see. If you are sailing past either Sanctuary or Golden Sands Outpost at any point during your adventure, make sure you shoot out and grab some new voyages as this will come in handy later on. Also, if you're staying on for long periods of time, do not be afraid of going to an outpost, lowering and re-raising your emissary for some extra reputation. If you find the shipwreck and you do not have the key, do not worry, just go into the shipwreck, find the dead merchant and grab the book. The loot inside of the captain's quarters is bonus and not required for this strategy. If you have the key then great, open up the captain's quarters and grab all of the loot inside as a bonus. Once you have everything, start a new voyage and again you're looking to stay in the shores of plenty and more often than not you will get a voyage which is going back in the exact same path or similar to what you just did. Repeat the steps as mentioned above and you will see your reputation increase massively. One final thing, this voyage seems to still be super super buggy, even after the patches. Even in the gameplay of this video, I started a voyage to go back where I came from, and the shipwreck didn't even spawn, but there was just a floating book. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for anything that could be of any significance to your voyage. With all of that, you should be well on your way to max level under the Merchant Alliance Trading Company. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, check out my other videos on the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.